Hello, hi, everyone who is here, but nobody who is not here. I'm not saying hello to them. Um, so we got a doozy for you today. It's Firebird 2015 AD. Um, it looks great. Uh, pretty low budge amateur Canadian production. Um, looks kind of Mad Maxi slash uh the, the roomy so I'm, I'm i'm just excited i'm excited for it um one thing i did not do which i probably should have done even though they're canadians i doubt they went with any hardcore gore sexual content but i didn't check the parental advisory on this movie i just assumed that Firebird 2015 AD wouldn't be inappropriate for people under a certain age. Um, but I better check. I better check right now. <laughs> uh -oh, do I have to change it? It says it's PG. Ah, uh, sons of bitches. There's boobs in this? Gosh darn it. Ugh. Damn it, Canada. Can't you be less sexually liberated? This movie was it was rated PG. Ugh. Lame. I'm gonna have to change I'm gonna have to change on the spot. I'm gonna have to change on the spot. Or do something else completely. Oh, you sons of bitches. Maybe I can find the scene. And censure around it when it comes up. I can buy two pounds of dark chocolate miniature Reese's cups for $23. Seems like a good purchase to me, but that's just that's just my thought. found the scene I think it is possible that maybe I have an edited version we shall see no I don't there are breasts son of a bitch Why do you have to do that to me? This movie looks great. And there's some pretty gross shit too. Son of a bitch. Well, looks like we're not doing Firebird 2015 AD. Son of a bitch. Ugh, so what do we do now? What do we do now? Hold on. Let me look at uh, what movies I have in reserves. Because I did download some movies that I did want to re-watch. Well, this is a bummer and a half. A 
Fat spy? Huh. The fat spy. Are we sure there's nothing in that that's uh on the parental guide? Well, there's literally nothing in the parental guide. Phyllis Diller acts like a boob. Does that count? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're watching this. It looks terrible. Give me just a few moments. <laughs> Phyllis Diller acts like a boob. What a, what a sentence. It could be terrible. I've never seen it. Oh, I imagine it will be terrible. It does not look very good at all. But... Here we are. I like to keep to my... Uh, I like to keep to my rituals. My rituals and my sequences. So give me one quick second here. Hmm, does it, there it is. There we go. The fat spy, ladies and gentlemen. We're calling an audible due to boobs. Thanks a lot, Firebird 2015 AD. If you weren't so obsessed with boobies, we could have been watching you already, but no. You had to put boobs in your movie. There we go. <sighs> I apologize. That is frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I should have checked it beforehand. That's on me. Okay, why is that happening? Ugh, right now my computer is now acting very annoying. Why aren't you working? Wow, this has just turned into a complete clusterfuck. Why in the world? Oh my lord in heaven. I have to use a different program than the one I usually use, because for some stupid reason...
one of the programs doesn't want to run it. Now let's see if this will do what I want it to do. There we go. The Fat Spy. Here it is. After long, <laughs> a long wait. <laughs> Gosh, let's, let's hope it's, there's nothing in it that's worse than boobs. I said there were no boobs, but these guys are really, you know, they're really trying to go for that boob trophy. Do you think this fucker couldn't play harmonica? Well, he can. Boom. This is a movie about a spy. Apparently, it started off with... Uh, guitar and these dudes so was the movie just under theatrical release length and they were all like Jerry, Dave you got that song right just play the whole thing from beginning to end at the beginning of a movie. Every good spy can play an instrument. <laughs> but this guy isn't fat. So he's not the fat spy. That had nothing to do. Had nothing to do with anything. It had nothing to do with it. Unless those guys are the evil geniuses and it <laughs> and it comes all the way around back to them, this movie is trash. <laughs> Call it right now. Are you kidding? What are you what are you doing? Also starring the wild ones. Was that the gentleman we were? Bike is as fast as a motorcycle. Well, how many, how many 007 films do you remember that start out this exact way? <laughs> Hot beach party with young people. the sacrifice island that's where we kill one of you what just kidding oh that guy's got tats oh damn 
that dude has got some ink. He's got a lot for this era, right? Like that's not a common thing. This guy's a, this guy's a bad boy. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> you better slow down, or you're going to run into the island. Is this a music video for the Beach Boys or the beginning of a spy film? Is this going to be an orgy out on an island? just runs right onto the beach they try to they try to see how far onto the sand they can get of july a day like all other days station y reporting these are the facts credits mean time precisely approximate appro oh early this afternoon a group of unidentified adolescents emerged from the sea now after careful investigation i was able to determine that they were teenagers on a treasure hunt? Mm-hmm. Just some high school kids out there for the weekend, I suppose. <laughs> treasure hunt? On my island? Well, Daddy, not legally, so... Jurisdiction, Junior. What is this? A technicality. No. At issue here is the fundamental dignity of an individual in our society. It's a matter of Moral justice. What? Whoever those teenagers are, I want them driven back into the sea. But Dad, Drive I them back know. into the sea. Father, I know like they're an invading force. No. Alert station Y. Procedure emergency. Use force if necessary. How are we fixed for reinforcements? And can we trust our field agent to follow through on this? Oh, yes. Who are you Don't talking worry, to? Daddy. He's one of your best men. Completely reliable. Who? Irving. Irving? <laughs> She's next Irving. to him. Well, who the fuck Irving, is he looking at? Daddy, how can you say that Irving's been loyal to you since the very beginning? Yeah, I know. She needs to stop rubbing Boy, this head. She's got to stop. Please, Daddy, let me. I'll fly out to the island. I'm sure it's just what he says it is. Innocent children, they do it all the time. Please give me this chance to prove my faith in Irving. All right. I think she wants a little piece of her. I have a plane waiting for you at Cape Coral. Remember, Irving has been alone on a deserted island for six months. <laughs> you know what that Daddy. means. <gasps> He's going to be sex crazy. If only she wouldn't giggle. What? Hey, Junior, what's the rush? Not now, Herman. I've got to get to the island and see Irving. Irving, that idiot. Your only twin brother in the whole world, Herman. How can you say such a thing about him? We sent him to Paris to steal the R.P.'s formula. What do you think happened? He came back with onion soup. Without me and my methods, Junior, your old man will still be selling brick powder to slippery Indians. <laughs> Herman, it's an emergency. I've got to leave. A little racist. Emergency? What happened? What is it? Project X. Our raison d'etre. Raisins? Don't tell me that Irving found raisins on the island. No, that's French, Herman. But it's urgent. Well, I'm off now. Goodbye. Right. Hmm, the island. What's going on out there? Teenagers dancing! Trespassing! Electric guitars without plugging them in? Clearly doing some drugs. That guy's on some speed, maybe meth. This guy, this guy, <laughs> what group was he with? He's wearing like a sweater. And pants. Why is he a, it's a beach party? 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they tell me they just break the dock and let it sink into the ocean. I swear, Shadow, if they just start ripping off tops. What are you doing? There's no flute in the song. This is not terrible, it's truly a blessing. Dance! Dance more! Keep dancing! Keep dancing! They're like, geez, Johnny, we're so tired, we've been dancing for two hours. Keep fucking dancing! Dance! Dance like you've never danced before! I'm, I'm very curious about the guitar guy, because it's not plugged into anything. Oh, well, we got some shitty twerking. The Miami Vice style on this dude. Answer the phone, or I'll cut your nose off. Herman? My brother Herman? That's right, kid. Herman. It's important. Otherwise, I wouldn't call you. Herman, gosh, it's good to hear your voice. Say, bring me up to date. Did Magnolia marry Cousin Fenster after all? Fenster? The Siamese twin? Yeah, he, he's the one on the left. No, he's still a bachelor. But Seymour on the right, he's married again. Poor Fenster. Save your sympathy, kid. You need it. He? That's a joke, I think. Junior's on our way to the island. Official business. What happened out there? Did you find him? What's going on? Nothing, except for the teenagers who showed up this morning. Teenagers? Herbie, now listen carefully. I want you to do exactly what I tell you. First, hold on. Advertising, sales promotion, and research. This is Gondola. In here, Herman. On the double. Me, yes, sir. Wait, so they're an ad agency? Stand by, Harry. Don't make a move till you hear from me. What the fuck? What? Well, who the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> Just someone tell me what's happening. Hmm. Who do you work for? I thought you were a spy. Junior is coming. You said the <laughs> Excuse me. I want you to try the new line. Yes, sir. Nothing. Nothing at all, sir. Try the So line. that's a sexual that harassment suit. Yes, sir. Sorry. What the fuck is going on? Mr. Wellington. It has a tendency to skit. I suggest a little gravel for traction. All right, girls, take your lips back to research. Say, uh, I just been informed by Junior that the uh, Amuse have landed on the Herman. Who do you think you are, Irving? Just a slip, Mr. Wellington. After all, I am not too concerned about the security of Project X. Shh. Don't even say that. We can't trust anybody, Herman, not even right here in our own headquarters. If the information that we know the island... What do you sell? Camille <laughs> Salamander... That evil woman. Beyond evil, Herman. That woman is un-American. Ugh. Somewhere on that island, beyond the fringes of time, lost for centuries, there, bubbling in bliss, the secret of the ages, waiting to be bottled. An exclusive product brought to you by Ta-da! Camille Salamander. The Camille Salamander? Eternal youth. Each dewdrop of liquid essence will be bottled in an original salamander flask and guzzled by a waiting world eager for the joys of puberty. Sahib? Swine! How dare you interrupt my meditation hour? A thousand pardons, Sahib, but this <laughs> message... Okay, hold on. 
Hold on, hold on. We need that again. We need that again. <laughs> we need. <laughs> what? What? Hold on. How dare you interrupt my meditation hour? A thousand pardons, Sahib, but this message. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's like. The Teenagers? Yeah. What does she care? Is she <laughs> so it's corporate corporate espionage for for beauty care products? Is this like Catwoman? That's how you get sand in some crevices you don't want it. They made the sun go down. It's an Old Spice commercial? I've never been in love before Then your kisses opened up How is this... <laughs> how is this more sexy than making out with the woman? <laughs> what, are you t what are you talking about? Why would you daydream of this? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just want a guy off to the side be like, could you get the fuck out of our fountain, please? <laughs> what are you doing, you stupid teenagers? Oh my god. I kind of <laughs> I'm I'm perplexed, Shadow. I am perplexed, I am dumbfounded. So is this a montage or a daydream? Makes me thankful for the day is this what he's thinking about instead of making out with a woman? Boom! You thought she wasn't gonna sing. <laughs> you thought you thought it was just gonna be dudes singing, and guess what? Nanette got your ass. This is, this is tremendous. What the fuck is going on? Oh, for sure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But what the fuck are, like... Oh, she did get her own horse. How cool. <laughs> he showed up in a suit and she wore up she showed up in horseback riding gear okay so it was a dream <laughs> so it was like a daydream Man, the dude who, who made this movie loves feet, dude. You're right. So much feet. Oh, Frank. Hey, guys. Soto, fishing's great. Want to go? Oh, we got all day and tomorrow to search. Come on, let's get some fish. Hey, Dodo, like why? I dig this barren waste and blazing sun. The wind from the sea. And the thunder of waves as they crash ashore. We'll stay, baby. Just don't fall overboard, Dodo. Me? Twinkle toes? See you later. Basically, he's like, you guys don't want to fish. They're like, no, we want to get laid. Please tell me it crashes. <laughs> so many... So many hard left turns in this movie. Highway to the danger zone. Uh, 
Oh no, Goose is gonna die. This movie actually inspired Top Gun. A lot of people don't know that. Playing. No, it's playing. Playing with the boys. I think the editor didn't give a f <laughs> the, <laughs> the editor was like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> like the editor got all the footage and was like, what is this? They're like, you know, it's a beach movie. He's like, this is horrible. Wait, they have a phone on the boat? What? 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 Who are these super rich fucks? Okay, just a minute, please. Telephone for Dodo. Well, who could want him at this hour? Who's calling, please? His mother. His mother? We don't have parents. Just one moment, please. What does she want? I don't know. No, Mrs. Blunt. Scuba. Dodo came out here to scuba with us. Every year we've had an annual weekend treasure hunt. We're just normal, decent, healthy, clean-cut American kids. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... What what the hell is, is this is this guy being assaulted while she's on the phone with some dude's mom? <laughs> and then they find, they they, they, they stranded his ass on an inflatable piece of shit somewhere. They're all getting laid. <laughs> and this idiot. <laughs> Does that mean it's his boat? His mom called the boat phone. Where's the girl for you? Uh, that one guy's got two of them. He's a real emo kid. It's Gerard Way. <laughs> This movie, man, this, this was not what I expected from today, and I'm kind of happy it went this way. At least you'll catch some fish, maybe, and then put it where? There's no room on your fucking boat! Yeah, obviously he's gonna fall out of the boat. Obviously. That's the level of humor we're dealing with. Hello, blonde. Where did you come from? Me? Oh, I was just passing by. Oh my god, tell me it's a mermaid. Hey, you wouldn't have any of those fresh worms aboard, would you? Well, I don't know how fresh they are, but I sure got plenty of them. Here, come aboard my yacht and help yourself. Really? Sure. Please tell me. It's a mermaid. 
Please tell me it's a mermaid. That's what this movie needs. You're very sweet. Here, let me give you a hand. Thank you. That's it. Come on. Lift up. Lift Fuck. Up your tail. Yes. Your tail? Oh, everything is so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> At night, in the garden alone, <laughs> while I was breeding, I used to think of you. And it's orange. And it's this, this movie, the man, States this movie is, is... Oh, Andy, <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? And his official name is Rosaceous Orange Junior. Oh, 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 I'm hurt. What happened, Lex? It's Why bleeding, it's bleeding. Now, do it as you say. You just come with me. <laughs> what is you need me. I got it. Hold on. I got to do it. I got to do it. Who am I kidding? I need to look at this asshole's face again. He's saying a song about getting a woman in his boat. While I was breeding. Lift up. It's like. Lift up your tail. Your tail? <laughs> I want, I want oh, that face. I want, I want the. Lift up your tail. <laughs> your tail. He gyms the camera. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's like, ha, ha, what an ass. <laughs> and then they were like, you know what? I don't think, I don't think the, I don't think the joke is gonna land. You know what we need? We need to cut to the word he just said in a speech bubble so that the audience knows, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> this hasn't happened for any other joke or any other moment in the movie, but uh, we'll put it in right there. We'll just put it in right there. It'll make sense. It'll work. Trust me. Trust me. This thing means, <laughs> this thing means, <laughs> this movie needs more feet shots. It needs more beach songs. And it needs more cutaways to something that has nothing to do with what we were watching previously. Oh my gosh. This movie, this movie is amazing. It looks like she's dressed as a stick of double mint gum. I know Daddy hates you, but it's our life, and I know we can find happiness together. Wow, wow, wow. Everything. Mm, it throbs. Like the beating of my heart. Irving, I love you. Why? George Wellington Jr., I wish you were like any ordinary girl. I'm normal, Irving, and I'm in love. <gasps> I wish you stopped that giggle. Sometimes, Irving, I wish you were a little bit like Herman. He'd never let an opportunity like this get away. In business, perhaps, but not in love. For over 20 years, Herman has been faithful to one woman. Herman? They were childhood sweethearts in high school, when Herman was a cheerleader and she was captain of the ping pong team. Ping pong team? the strangest part of the story is that, since then, they've never seen each other. <laughs> It's like, it's impossible to get a hold on anything. Is this, is this a seat from Nick Cage's Wicker Man? The editing is like a Google slide presentation. <laughs> The movie seriously feels like someone was given 15 minutes to make a movie. It's like, you have 15 minutes to make a movie, and here are your suggestions. Beach party, spies, comedy, uh, music, go. And you're like, what? Years. 240 months. 624 weeks. 312 partners. 
7,665 days. 7,670 days. Leap year. Oh, darling. <laughs> Would you like some alcohol? <laughs> Your tail! <laughs> what? That was just that was just an aside from the tail story? Why did you why? <laughs> what I'm so confused. I just couldn't break away. Our new lipstick, fire and glue. Fire and glue? Now you look great! First time I've ever seen a whole basketball team in one suit. Uh, darling, tell me something. Was the ground cold when you came up this morning? <laughs> ah, How squirrel. was your eyes? They're so beautiful. Where did you get those eyes? They came with a head. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> Do you really remember? You don't remember at all. What in the world? I don't remember? I remember everything! <laughs> Oh my gosh. When you were three, you smiled. And you frightened Dr. Spock. <laughs> At six, you are a mask. Cause your face could stop a clock. And all the neighbors made a scene to have you put in quarantine. And you haven't changed a bit. Wait, that's the fucking fountain you those people were walking through. Till the day it grew beyond what? Repair. <sighs> this. At ten, somebody picked you. <laughs> As a poster girl for care <laughs> And even though what, you is, what, is, what is this guy's plan? You never lost your double chin You haven't changed a bit Is this guy Commenting on her looks When he's this In this shape? Kissing you Was just like kissing Death at 17, I knew at last that you had made the grade. The paper said a peeping time. Meanwhile, not uh, Vincent Price is, is growling. And as I look at you today, here the picture of James Cagney. You haven't changed a bit. They haven't moved either. The choreography has been stand here, embrace one another, and he's turning into a werewolf? What? Oh, gee, that's sad. This was the vow they made on graduation day and swore their love to secrecy. But why, Irving, why? Well, Rapunzel was different from most girls. She was tough inside, like your father. In a way, she, she wanted the ultimate. But he was 17 I mean, at the time, too, father, probably. You? Shadow. Just about. Well, so what happened? She and Herman swore never to meet again until they conquered the world. The teenagers, what about them? That's uh, probably a false alarm. I'll, I'll check it out in the morning. See, Herm, you see what I mean. We're not ready, Herm. A girl needs security, Herman. And if you can't provide your own true love, accurate, detailed data. They're, yeah, the dream, they're, they're so, they're hard and fast, and they leave you with your head spinning. But Rapunzel, the little lass you love, the merry child, no more. What I am, Camille Salamander, and what I want, that fountain of eternal youth. But physically, it may not be water. Irving, experiment with every source of liquid on the island. Not Water? Not necessarily. But it's new top secret. And baby, I've got it all on microfilm. Good boy, Herm! Get me that fountain. And then? Ha ha ha! Oh, come on. Oh, oh. no, 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 no. Please, Not yet. Ah, please, ah, Rapunzel. Ah, oh, please, oh, please, oh, I beg oh, of you. No, no. And now, Rapunzel, and now! But Herm, lest we forget our vow. What? We swore an oath. But today, darling, the world is ours. Now! Now, this guy just wants to get a little sexy time with Phyllis. Not this way, not yet, not now, not here, no. When, where? In the crystal shimmer.
glimmer of beaded dew. Our blood dancing to a pagan beat. Surging wild with the rhythm of love. In the fountain of youth. Wading in the waters of time. <sighs> Actually, in the water? Herman, if it's good enough to drink. It's good enough to fuck in. So this is, so this. <laughs> now he's cool with it. He jumped out of there a second ago. What? 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 <laughs> this orange rose, a crossbreed. Hmm, what a species. Irving? Irving, what's wrong with me? Uh, this red rose right Irving. there. Irving. Yes, Junior. This movie is like trying to capture. I love you anyway. I'd like to be a rose in your garden. This movie is like trying to catch ghosts with your hands. I'm just trying to grab onto anything that makes any kind of sense, and then it just disappears. <laughs> Nice. Take me to your greenhouse, baby. She wants to she wants to bone this man pretty darn hard. And honestly, this guy's got the sweetest gig. He's just on this tiny island and this woman shows up, "Hey, I want to bone you." And he's like, mm, "I don't know. Why are you being coy about this?" of course is code for fuck palace what <laughs> shadow please everybody needs a song apparently <laughs> If this movie responsible for that TV special we sponsored last night. If this I movie ends and all of these people the are in a mental institution, it might be the best movie no ever made. Player. For lunch I'll have a poached egg and strawberry yogurt and tell Herman I want to see him immediately. Ah, what's this? Retail department is short on heavenly skin cream. We're undersupplied, sir. We can't produce enough heavenly skin cream. There's just not enough pork fat. Contact our Iowa division. I want those pig farms to go on a 24-hour schedule. Now get me Herman. Irving? It seriously... Irving, Irving, it seriously Irving. feels like everyone is just insane. And they're all living delusions. It's important, Daddy. Just please, Irving, wake up. Oh, what are you, is, is she wearing clothes? Or is that a towel? Daddy, sir? Good morning, Irving. Good morning, sir. Your background view on my attitude this morning, Irving, despite the serious reservations I have regarding your virtue, I know my daughter, and her inherent values spring from a decent home. Therefore, Irving, I want you to know that her unchaperoned overnight visit with you has absolutely nothing do with what I am about to say to you. Most of it, Irving, the dirty names I will call you, will Excuse be crude me, Mr. and vulgar, but that, Irving, is how I think of you. A fat, stupid, loud mouth. I do.
did not, but... Get the marbles out of your throat if you want to talk to me. What is it you want? What, 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 what? Nothing, thank you. But Mr. Wellington would like you in his office immediately. Hmm. I'm all thrilled about this whole thing here. Hmm. Get down to that beach right now. Now. Tell them anything, but find out exactly what they're really up to. Now. Hey. Hey, look. <laughs> Suspenders. Hi, gang. What you looking for? They're moving toward him now, slowly, very slowly, but calm. I don't think he's frightened. <laughs> They're surrounding him in a teenage huddle. What? What the fuck, man? I'm. I'm... <laughs> Why is that dude wearing suspenders with his bathing suit? What is he doing? Also, this guy kind of looks like Steve Bannon. <laughs> what are we doing, man? What's going on? Your brother. Hit the beach. I can't believe this guy tried to... I'm, I'm, I'm just, so, <laughs> so what's this movie about, Squirtle? Your guess is as good as mine. I'd love to know what happened to the mermaid we saw earlier. Dude just caught a mermaid onto his boat, cuddled with it, and that was it. Oh shit. He's wearing shoes and socks on the beach. That's suspicious. Doesn't it doesn't seem like they're all fucked up on something and they're like all in the same mushroom or something? Like Except for the clearly old man. That guy is so good, he can sing, play guitar, and create all the percussion sounds with his mouth. <laughs> this movie also proves something else. Like, if your movie doesn't have a plot, it just meanders and it just gets annoying and boring. <laughs> What? 
Yes, sir. Herman, this is off the record. You can call me George. Okay, George, shoot. Herman, I need an opinion. Well, let's put it this way, George. Your lovely daughter, Junior, has class, looks, brains. She's a winner. Except she has one hang-up. Baby? Baby. With the fountain of view someplace on that island, stakes are too high to gamble on either one of them. That's also my opinion, sir. Thanks, Herman. I needed that. And now, George, it's time for the pro to take over. It's a real big one. This operation needs everything we've got. So I'll go. Thanks, Herman. That means a lot to me, but I can't let you do it. I've been out of action a long time, Herman, probably too long. But this is my show. I'll take over. But Irving, who is he? Where did he come from? He said he's from the Bronx High School of Science. And he wanted to know what kind of treasure we're hunting for. So we told him. Not the truth. Sure. But that's okay. He said we could take anything we want if we find it. I want the gangplank. <laughs> <laughs> if we could take the whole ship. Imagine sailing home in an old Spanish galleon. That'd be oh, great. Imagine yeah. the whole ship with yeah. the clubhouse. Deserving, though. Did he say why he was on the island? What's he looking for? So they're looking for a fucking pirate ship? <laughs> Come on, let's get organized. Let's take Frankie's map, divide it, set up teams, and start digging. Spanish guy, you ready or not, here we come. Yeah! <laughs> How weird. I thought we came here to bone and Spooky. dance. Maybe he's a spy. If he is, then we've got to get there first. Then, goodbye, fat spy. Irving, you're my beautiful hero. At last, after six months, I have got information. Somewhere on this island is an old Spanish gang. You know what this means, Junior? After six months of relentless search, I, Irving Gondoler, discovered a canoe. Oh, gosh, Irving, when Daddy learns about this. It was simple, really. All I had to do was wiggle so, my hips, <laughs> and they told me everything. So this, this, this... And as soon as I give the information to Daddy, this beauty product company everything. believes that the Fountain of Youth is on this island. We can get married. Ah, what about the pension plan? You think he'll let me join? I know he will. Security. In five years, I can retire and breed. Roses? I'll get my bike. Your bike? So I can ride you over to the airstrip. You fly back to your father with the information, and I'll return to my roses. Six months hard labor. After all, a man needs a hobby. This, this woman also has beauty products and Rapunzel. believes the Fountain of Youth is on the child. island. Rapunzel, tell me, mirror, mirror, what is this strange flutter throbbing in my chest? My child, the heart of a flower beats within the hide of a rhinoceros. Is there magic Sahib? now? Punjab, my faithful thug. Sahib, I spoke. I broke your meditation hour. Beat me. Beat me. Never. The heart of a flower beats within the hide of this rhinoceros. For the love of Kali, Sahib, whip me, whip yeah. me, whip me, whip me, whip me, whip hey, me. Camille. This oh, guy also... Herman, <laughs> darling. Ha, 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 sweetheart, that's so good. Let's make this, this guy also walks so strange Please, everywhere. Hands. Come, Herman, let's frolic together. Frolic yourself, baby. I'm here on business. The earth trembled. The stars stood still. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, ecstasy of love. What do you mean, business? Well, well, it didn't left for the island. When? About an hour ago, but it doesn't make any difference anymore. Why not? Because I and I alone know exactly how to find the real fount of youth. Herman, I have a... Big this guy just wants someone to hurt him. It is big. It's yours. <laughs> revenge. I swear by the goddess Kali. Revenge. Would it be all right if I do my song now? A little sure, racist. Baby. Why not? You didn't really want to go fishing again today, did you, Dodo? Uh-huh. I, I promised Naomi I would. Naomi? Who's Naomi? Mermaid. You're my best friend, Frank. But there's some things that, that even best friends should know about each other. Dig? Like when they bone mythical creatures. <laughs>
Wait, if they're looking for a, f a ship, why are they digging on the beach? Wow, yeah, this is, uh, this is paced horribly. I... understand anything she's saying. <laughs> oh damn, this is what she really takes at home. Dance moves changed up. If I, if I interpreted this right, it's a song about how she's happy that he lets her down the nicest way possible. Is it there? Did you find it? Uh, I gotta go down a couple more feet, I think. Anyway, it's your turn. <laughs> you get to digging. Now we'll sing. Let's get in the shade before I fry, huh? Okay, sure. Why not? What? Sometimes, Dodo, if you want to talk about it, friends can help each other. Is Naomi wow. really a dude? Like you're helping me dig for the treasure, aren't you? I fell in love with a mermaid. Sure you did, baby. Irving, this is a real shotgun. And I intend to use it. All right, I promise. I promise. Don't shoot. I'll do it. What what a transition! Hold on, let's just appreciate let's appreciate that one. Sure you did. Sure you did, baby. Irving, this is a real shotgun. Okay. And I intend to use it. All right, I promise. I promise. Don't shoot. I'll do it. You can marry me. Okay, get in the plane. For Project X, the island. I just can't leave. Your father may get angry. I'll worry about Daddy. My bike. I just cannot leave without my B-I-K-E. It would be so sad, Irving, if those were your last words. <laughs> now, get in the plane. <laughs> yes. This is a shotgun, and I'm going to shoot you unless you come back with me and marry me. Whoa, 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 we're getting buck wild here on the takeoff. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh, I would not want to fly with this person. I would be losing my mind. Holy shit, that takeoff was rough. Not that I think you're incompetent, Irving. I mean, you are my hero, but let's go over it again. No, well, let's see. Hey, it is rather complicated. I can't seem to remember anything. Maybe I can help. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Wow! Wow! Oh, oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> now I remember. I have to meet you in Cape Coral while you ask your father for my hand. So far, so good. What's next? If he says yes, we'll get married right away. Mm, that's I'll call my mother. That's what I'm going to do. Like, the only thing that adds up for this movie is that they're all insane 
in an asylum and they all made up the story. Ship came from starboard, Mr. Wellington. We're ready to sail. And this, sir, exactly as you specified. Okay, let's go. He's taking a pleasure cruise to his secret mission? It, it, it has the storytelling of like 11th, 11 year olds in a sandbox. And then I, and then I'm the CEO of this company. And then I say, I'm going to do it myself. And, uh, and my assistant brings me this, uh, custom gun and I get on my boat and, uh, and then I, and then I go to the island. And I sit in the fishing seat as they slowly back out. Hey, Frankie, wake up. It's your turn. What? You're asleep. Wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. Well, hurry. We don't have much time left. Don't worry. It's got to be around here. Hey, who's Dodo? I don't know. I thought he was here with you. He's That's out funny. banging a mermaid. Where'd he go? Maybe the audience knows where he is. If I see you again, I'll say everything I tried to say before you turned around and walked away. I know that if I see you Past tense. I don't know how long you've been around, but this movie is is uh, it's upside down, man. It's uh, it's it's crazy. I have no idea where the mermaid went. We focused on the mermaid a lot, and then the mermaid is gone. And this guy's thinking about how he won't ever let her go. Why did he let her go the first time? It seemed like they were cuddling up in that uh, dinghy. And okay, past tense. Just based on this song, would you imagine that this movie is actually about two fat twins that are actually engaging in corporate corporate espionage to find the fountain of youth on an island is this dude just gonna walk out into the ocean Oh my god, is she actually a siren? Is this dude gonna die? Is this gonna take like a horror movie turn? Because at this point, why the fuck not? Suspender swimming trunks. Did he die? <laughs> That's it. Headquarters. That's where we'll find it. The Fountain of Youth. 
Herman, that building is Wellington House. That happens to be your own office. Mm, uh, the secret of the Fountain of Youth has been there all the time. If you lied to me, Herman, just to get a quick frolic... No, baby, I wouldn't lie to you, but I'll show it to you. I can't go in there. I'd be recognized. Don't worry about a thing. Just get in the car and take your clothes off. What? Boom. Irving. Yes, dear. We're at it again. Oh, that's very nice to hear, dear. She's been flying upside down the whole time? a factual opinion, my dear. Please send me a special delivery letter. Certainly. But no one can see it. Now, if I can just execute a bomb with this and late, we'd be able to glide in. And if not? If not, we'll end up in a disgusting crash. He's running around here naked. Poor Dodo. Poor me. What am I going to tell his mother when she calls? Hey, Frankie! Oh, yeah, apparently Dodo's mom has the number to their boat. Hey, Frankie, look at this. This movie should be called a Mad Mad Mad. in the wrong place. We should have been 100 yards south. That's where it is, 100 yards south. It's pretty accurate. So, did their homie just die? Their homie just died in the ocean. Certainly, Junior, but if you don't mind, I'd prefer to kiss after we actually landed. But that's when the real rush starts. I've got to get right to Daddy. Now, you wait for me in the garden. I'll meet you by the dolphin pool at exactly four o'clock. Then we'll arrange for the marriage license. And after that... Junior, right now I have a very uneasy feeling. <laughs> It's gone! The whole ship is gone! That's impossible. It's got to be here. Hey, look, there's a sign. <laughs> it says pirate ship this way. On this site, the Ponce de Leon, a Spanish galleon, was washed ashore in 1501. Courtesy of the Chamber of Commerce, this galleon may now be seen as a part of a permanent exhibit at the Cape Coral Gardens, open daily from 10 to 10, admission free. Okay, Cape Coral, let's go. Are they gonna steal the pirate ship? Is that the plan? Also, why did the women go straight for the boat and the men went that way. What? Oh shit. They gotta play a song first. Are you sure she knows how to start that thing? <laughs> <laughs> to that museum first a song that we've never stopped and played a song yet and there's been like five of them but now we have to actually show us playing the instruments and all singing yes mrs doe we watched your son walk into the ocean Should I scum or should I go? It's the same tune. Does that mean the Clash stole this from whatever dumb band this is? 
That would be a horrible thing for the Clash to have to admit. I think we're all changed. I think we're all forever changed after watching The Fat Spy. Because uh, I truly... I watched two Stephen King films yesterday, and I thought those were bad. I thought those were bad films. Um, those are like... Uh, art compared to this shit. Dumbasses went on a treasure hunt to an island that has the Fountain of Youth on it and got there just to find out that the ship has already been found and sent to a um, museum somewhere else, probably where they came from. And these, all these guys just make, and they left with, they left their homie there. That they left their homie dead in the water somewhere. And they're just laughing it up, going back to civilization. What is, what is the resolution to any of this? Like, what, what? what? What what conclusion do you come to after of everything that's happened? All right, sweetheart. You're all alone now. And this is your play. This is your move. Everything rides on this one. It also sounds like he's doing a weird voice. Sure, you've been out of action a long time. Maybe too long. But it's too late to think about that now. All right, Jocko. Don't let those teenagers stop you. Your objective, take that island. You've got to get in there fast. You've got to get in there hard. You've got to get in there fast and hard. All right, remember now, sweetheart, no nerves, like a slab of ice. Remember Bo Jess, just like Markov. You've got to be cold and you've got to be a killer. you got no time to count your strawberries. What? What the fuck is going on now? You've got to be ready for anything, Jocko. Those dirty little rats will spot the boat and trap <laughs> you going ashore. <laughs> Don't let that stop you. Everyone is insane. In the old days, when a kiss was just a kiss, and a sigh was just a sigh. Now those were the good old days. Everyone is insane. Then, nothing. It's the only explanation that's here, acceptable. Guys. Everyone is insane. Nobody's come along to take our place. Nobody. Yeah. We're still the kings of the late show. All right, all right, all right. Never mind that. You hit the beach, hit it fast, and hit it hard, and take that island. He's literally on, like, a pleasure slow vessel. And he's, like, sitting there in, like, a fishing chair going, like, I'm going to take this island. I'm going to take it by force. He's going to get there. Nobody's there. <laughs> yeah, if you could remember. If you could remember, we have, like, eight storylines and none of them have anything to do with each other. It would 
been much neater if you kept your clothes off, baby. Just button a jacket, baby, and I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be okay. Herman, I want to tell you one thing before we go in there. If you're wrong, you're gonna wish you were Irving. Dolphins? I mean, why not? We got them. What are you Don't talking move. about? I'll what? be back here at 4 o'clock with Daddy's permission. We got some footage of dolphin trading. Put it in. Oh no, Frankie. Look. Yeah, I guess it's over. Wow, it would have been so great if we'd have got it first. Imagine going home with a real gangplank of a Spanish galleon. Maybe we could come back later and steal it. <laughs> come on, let's go. That is not a real Spanish galleon. That is like a well, bullshit. Stay here in the gardens, then, Ed. It's as good a place as any. All these years it was right here. And I never realized it until this morning. Watch. Now press the button. Press the switch over here. With this, it will tell us the exact now location the of three times. the available Wonka Ooh. bars. What would a computer do with a lifetime supply of chocolate? I have programmed the computer and it's that simple. Right now, his big brain is sifting through all the information we've got on the Fountain of Youth. Doing the calculations that would take us years. AI. AI is the future. They called it in the Fat Spy. <laughs> this fucking it's this movie is relentless it doesn't attempt to ever come Huge together fountain of, originally discovered by ponte de leon and his wife contrary to legend it is not a liquid but rather a twin black rose growing from a single stem this twin black rose was aboard the ponte de leon when it was shipwrecked in 1501 it is currently on display at the cape coral Triumph, Rapunzel! The world is ours! Not yet, you traitors. As long as I'm here, neither one of you will leave this room. <laughs> now remember... It's so weird to think that Junior was the woman victim from the outlaw last so week. Wait, what? She knows too much, Herman. She must be destroyed. Hold on, that was the same. That was not the same woman, really. Bomb, a big bomb. When I turn this knob, her fate will be sealed, and our secret will be safe forever. That knob, that's the air conditioning. Setting this at maximum power will create ice cubes. Then as the ice cubes circulate through the pipes, crashing into each that was other, Jane Russell. the frozen pressure will grow to unbearable intensity, splintering the walls until the entire place shatters in one final convulsive gasp. Oh, now they're going to sing another song, because why the fuck not? Maybe it'll be about their dead buddy. Ready? As ready as I'll ever be. They're gonna, is it Frankie? suicide pact? What? Just Frankie, that's all. What? Why did they... Why did they randomly capitalize letters? This... What? Come on. 
they're just they're 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 fucking with us. Like it's almost like they're they're daring us to watch the rest of the movie. They're like, I dare you to finish this piece of shit. Just Josh and yeah. <laughs> That's what he did with the knife. Thanks, buddy. Ha! <laughs> just Josh and yeah. Fucking around. We're just gonna cut you out of this. <laughs> ah, that was awesome. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> no, stupid. That's an orchid. And they've been standing at this bridge for ever. Wow. Wow. This is a, this is a real humdinger. This is a real, this is, this is unbelievable. I mean, when you're 18, you say anything, right? <laughs> this this was that inspiration? But what's happening, Shadow, is it's not really coming together at all. Just the like singing teenager part, the uh, the American Idol movie from Justin to Kelly. Just a bunch of songs that like kind of suck in a story that doesn't make any sense, and it just keeps going. It just keeps going. It's black. It's a rose. And look. The stem's broken. It was twins. But there's only one left. And there are two of us. <laughs> that was, uh, not something I really wanted to watch. Her name is Junior. What's the matter, darling? Did your father say no? That's the black rose. That's the fountain of youth. Quick, Irving, where did you find it? Camille and Herman know what it is. I found it right over there. You see where those two little kids are? Those were mannequins. Those were straight up mannequins. Those were I not human beings. You see where those two little kids are? Those those were mannequins. <laughs> <They're>, 
they they ate the flower yeah because that's the fountain of youth is eating a flower that they painted black on the edges you're too late irving we ate it that's herman camille salamander no sweetheart rapunzel fingernail in case you're interested you mean that this did it you mean if we take this oh no irving we have our use this must be used for the benefit of people who really need it They turn into babies. Excuse me. Take my word for it that if you eat this, you'll grow young again. We're just gonna throw it into the thing. They summon like pagan gods? What are you what 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 is happening? May I introduce myself? I am Don Francisco Miguel Ponce de Leon. And I am Donna Maria Antoinette Carmen de Mescaline. Boy, this is some picture. Wait a minute. Where's Daddy? What? What? I'm so... There it is, sir. The island. Get ahead. What? That doesn't make it... What? What are you talking about? Meanwhile, we got this mental patient, and he's gonna fucking just storm this beach. He's gonna end up shooting the guy... Who was trying to scam on a mermaid? The island, of course, was deserted, but does Daddy give up on his search? Will the romance of Herman and Camille last through kindergarten? Will Junior Bloom in Irvin's garden? Can Frankie and Annette avoid a teen tragedy? Will the Seek ever make another picture? See the following sequels. The Return of the Fat Spy, The Son of the Fat Spy, and Bride of the Fat Spy. Wow. That movie thought it would be great to have a joke about three sequels. This is like the dark universe from uni from Universal. They just came out with trash. It was just like, we'll get them. <sighs> wow. What? What? What the hell? This movie has given me permanent brain damage. <laughs> um, the wild ones as themselves. Screenplay by Matthew Andrews. Someone better have locked him up. Oh, it, it, this is probably the most entertaining shit movie we've seen. Like, we, we've seen some pretty bad movies that were just kind of frustrating. This was just crazy absolutely crazy um i i don't know i don't even know what to say about it it was so bizarre and incompetent it was like watching a dyslexic kid in a spill <laughs> It was like watching someone make a Lego set without instructions and they're just putting it together the way they think it would be.
Hey, in case you in case you couldn't tell, all the characters were fictitious and not based on any reality. If they tried to stick the Lego together with mustard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um Wow. Wow. What 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 like absolute garbage it, it didn't have anything it didn't have anything what happened to the mermaid did the guy die the dude walked into the ocean and just disappeared that just that happened in the middle of this movie a dude fell in love with a mermaid apparently let her go and then was like man i really miss that mermaid and just walked into the ocean it could have been a siren. There could have been a siren subplot in the middle of this movie because. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. I mean, what, what, what do you, what do you talk about with this movie? It's a killer, a diller, a blast of laughs. That doesn't even make sense. Um, Wow. Wow, dude. Like, does it deserve a sequel? I mean, I doubt it. I doubt it was ever made because I'm sure enough people watched it and kind of gave it a what in the hell are we talking about here, boys? Um,. I feel like someone could have made a sequel for like 200 bucks and put it out somewhere. I feel like that's 100% possible. And the painful parody of Frankie in the Ant-Man Beach movies. <laughs> yeah, Shadow, it's a parody. All of this is for jokes. It just doesn't make any sense and is horrible. Um, wow, man, wow. Wow, wow, wowzers. Wowzers, bowsers. Um, so I, I don't I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what to say, and I don't know. Like I don't even know where to go from here. Like I don't <laughs> Like, cause I could, tr I could try and break down the movie, but that is a waste of everyone's time. This doesn't deserve any logic brought to it. It just deserves to be what it is and then, and just stay there. Cause uh, holy shnikes, what an unbelievable pile of shit this movie was. Unbelievable. It was, it was like, oh man, kids love beach movies and they love spies and they love comedy and they love women. Uh, like, we'll just throw all of it together and we'll just take elements for everything and we won't explain what we're doing at any time. And it'll just work based on uh, 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 people love going to movies. That's basically what they did. They insulted our intelligence all the time by just like letting a bunch of shit go that like they figured oh we they won't care that there's no explanation about what we saw <laughs> why the hell were they digging in this that's another big question why the hell did they get all the way out there to find something that's already been found and turned into like a a, a kid's slide in like a, a disney park or some bullshit it there's nothing but questions they're looking for a fountain of youth, which apparently they had all the tools to find out that it's not actually on that island, but it, it and it's not a fountain, it's flowers that's in this park very close to their own headquarters. And if they eat the flower, they'll turn into babies. And for some strange reason, 
the t the teenagers are separate from the the fountain of youth old people implying that they've always been there just kind of like chilling out and 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 getting young every once in a while it i don't know man the movie the movie is it's like poison it's like we drank lead paint <laughs> It's like we it did intentional damage to our brains by watching a film. And that's an experience. You know what I mean? That That's not easy to do. That's not something you can do with anything. Um, wow. And we could have watched Firebird 2015 AD. Instead, we watched... The old guy was Ponce de Leon. Makes sense. No, not the old... And then there's there's a couple old guys... Fuck, like, I don't know. I don't, I feel like trying to explain it just makes me angry. Just watching it was like enjoyable because it's so bad, but trying to explain it just makes you realize how shitty it is and what I just watched. So bad. So bad. So unbelievably bad. Um, well, good save, Shadow because we could have ended up watching a movie and then uh, cut away during the, the boobies. They had an airplane. That was, she flew that airplane so poorly. It looked like she was going to crash every single seat of, that, of the airplane. It seemed like, oh, wow, she's horrible at flying a plane. She shouldn't do it. Um, we had women throwing themselves at dudes. We had a woman basically say, you're gonna bone me. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna play coy. And it was like, what? I had my Canada hat on and everything. It's true. I didn't even plan this. I just looked at the box of hats that I have for streaming. And I was like, well, it's a Canadian movie. Let's put on the Canada hat. And we didn't even watch it. We didn't even watch it. It's fine. It's fine. We we enjoyed the fat spy. Um, oh, wow. Just wow. That's really all I can say about it. It's just a big, giant wow. Um, <laughs> well, what I could do, um, I can kind of do a run through of it um, and maybe just click out of the movie so that we can watch the movie then when I know the boobs will show up I'll just cut to basically this where you see me rather than the movie and then I can describe what's going on and then come back after the boobs are gone but that also means I have to pre-watch some of it to see where it'll be and make sure that it doesn't accidentally happen because I don't want to get banned off Twitch for showing boobs from a 1980s movie that no one's ever fucking heard of meanwhile women can make thousands and thousands of dollars licking fake ears and talking about random shit because that's fine showing people boobs even though there's a warning before you watch my stream that is unforgivable absolutely unforgivable um whatever there's no point for that rant um but uh yeah that's something I'd have to work on and that's not what I planned for next week. I did have something else in the in the chamber for next week, so yeah. Oh, you don't know about this, Squirtle? There's like a whole ASMR uh, community where it's the woman has a microphone that's embedded in like a, a fake ear and they talk into it and like lick it and shit. I don't know, man, but apparently a lot of people are into it and they turn it on on Twitch and shit because it's not technically pornographic even though they're a hundred percent using it as such um but that's a hundred percent okay because there's no boobs there's no nudity uh whatever whatever twitch i just want to watch movies and play video games and talk to homies so that's what that's what's going on um thank you to squirtle and shadow for hanging out um for enduring this with me i appreciate it thank you to anybody who came by just for a moment and then probably got out quick because it was next level bonkers 
uh, past tense who came in for a quick hello. I appreciate it. Um, Wednesday, two days from now at 8 p.m., I will be playing something. I don't even know what it is yet. I don't think it'll be Tetris um, because I played that last week and, you know, we don't want to repeat ourselves. But I don't know what I'll be doing. Um, but next uh, next stream will be Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. And then, of course, there's Church Has Glasses Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Um, and uh, this weekend is the big, big move of my new uh, cohabitator. Um, that's a weird way to put it, but somebody will be moving in on uh, Saturday with their big items. So I do plan on streaming Sunday morning, but I might be a little achy or a little tired, but uh, I do plan on being here. Thank you so much for watching and thank you, uh, uh, thank you Shadow for suggesting the Fat Spy and, ha and having us watch it because ho oh boy did it really change our day. Um, <laughs> it really changed our day, our week, our month, our year because we watched The Fat Spy. Uh, have a good one, everybody. Peace!